Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Right here's radar, and this is our storm system. This is our major storm sitting up here in the Pacific Northwest in BC with heavy snow on radar. You can see it. Interior BC, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Northwest Montana, and now slipping down into Northern California. Same storm that's going to drop south, dig through California for three days with continuous heavy snowfall. And it will hit the interior west, uh, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado as well in time. Here's what I'm seeing this morning. So that storm system still on track. You can see the timeline here for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, and the Sierra. The Wasatch, you're going to get some light snow tomorrow afternoon. And then it's heavy with 1 to 2 feet coming in afternoon 3-2 through 3-3. Three, three. Teton, some light snow this afternoon will probably develop. And then heavy on 3-1 through 3-4 with some big totals. Colorado, you've got heavy snow coming in late 3-2 through 3-4. In the Sierra, everything's still on track for 4 to 8 feet. Af this afternoon, through the morning of 3-3, above 5,000 feet. Incredible totals. Powder Highway, Canada, 1 to 2 feet on track. That's already happening now. It started last night. It's happening all the way through 3-2. And some additional light snow accumulation, 3-7 and 3-8. All right, let me take you back over here. I want to show you water vapor satellite Im imagery this morning. Give you the lay of the land. So the moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues. Here's our big storm system, big trough. It's going to drop all the way down through California. Snow hard for like two to three days. Pivot into the interior with heavy snow for um, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Idaho. All those places are going to get hit with this. And it's being supported by a powerful buckling subtropical jet. This thing's going to line up perpendicular and just absolutely crank out orographic snow over the top of the Sierra. And that will also contribute to snow production through the interior. Here's the forecast jet by the end of day today. So the key days, 3-1, 3-2, 3-3, and 3-4. Look at that jet just blowing all that energy into the interior. Northwest, somewhat of a west-northwest flow for a time. And then we're in the conveyor belt setup where we're just bringing in weak to medium-sized storms off the Pacific and just moving that moisture from the west coast into the interior with additional accumulation. Putting moisture on top of all of this, that's the forecast radar by 5.30 this afternoon. So watch the load drop south, heavy snow, Sierra. And we start to see a really heavy band of snow set up along the frontal boundary in the jet. Um, just clipping parts of uh, northern Utah, but right over the top of the Tetons and parts of Idaho. And then it moves into the, uh, uh, the Wasatch. It moves into Colorado through 3-4. Look at all that snow. And then it's gone by 3-5. But here comes the next storm system being escorted in off the Pacific. And then that one will move additional snow into the interior, 3-6, 3-7, 3-8. And by the time we get into 3-9, it's just leftovers and then it will move away. As far as uh, latest totals, today through tomorrow, so next 48 hours, we start to see that heavy snow production over the top of the Sierra with anywhere from 2 to 3 feet, um, about 10 to 12, uh, believe it or not, across the Tetons. Again, it will probably start light this afternoon, tonight, and then really pick up tomorrow. Um, and probably 6 to 10 inches through the Interior BC uh, areas of Fernie, Red Mountain, Kicking Horse. And look at that equal spillover into Sunshine Village and Marmot Basin. Nice stuff. About one to two feet in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, next time period. Three, two through three, four. Another two to three feet in the Sierra. One to two feet. This will be the big period for the Wasatch, a big period for the Tetons with one to two feet there as well. One to two feet in Colorado, especially along the western slope and along I-70 in north, Crested Butte, Big, Breck, Summit County, Vail, snow mass, one to two feet. Um, in fact, some of the numbers have, have gone up right on top of the Continental Divide around Loveland and A Basin, now looking at a foot, maybe even a little bit more. So those numbers have trended up just a touch. All right, final time period, 3-5 through 3-9. Another foot in the, in the Wasatch, another foot in the Tetons, and potentially 4 to 12 in parts of Colorado. Um, still looking at about a foot through Brundage and Schweitzer during that time period, and maybe another 6 to 18 in the Sierra. So, And some additional light snow through the interior parts of uh, B.C., maybe up to 9 additional around Fernie during that time period. Okay, one last stop in the Northeast. Pretty light stuff here. Really what we're looking at, there's a couple chances now, it looks like, for rain that first week of uh, March. But potentially around 
three, six, three, seven, three, eight. There might be a larger storm system coming through, but it looks pretty warm as well. Might be looking at some rain along with some light snow accumulation, and that's how we get. That's how I get to these numbers. All right, guys, we'll end on this uh, this map for the first time period. Today through tomorrow, this is really our big storm dropping south, and we're just starting to see the generation of snow um, across the Intermountain West. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this uh, morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it, and take care.